Hello everybody and welcome to Halloween Story Time with Wicklow Libraries. Today's story is Little Wizard by Kazuno Kohara. I hope you're all comfortably seated and let's start. Little Wizard. Once, there was a little wizard who could not learn to fly. He was always alone because none of the other wizards wanted to be his friend. One day, little wizard was walking sadly in the forest when he saw something in the sky. It was... A dragon! Hello, dragon! called Little Wizard. I wish I could fly like you. Could you teach me, please? No problem, smiled the dragon. We can start right away. You must concentrate very hard, said the dragon. One, two, three, bump. It was no good. Little Wizard still could not fly. Don't worry, said the dragon. The first flight is always the hardest. We can practice again tomorrow. And then he invited Little Wizard to his house. At dinner time, the dragon brought out a basket full of bread. Being a dragon is very useful, you know, when it comes to baking bread, he said. The next day, Little Wizard and his dragon friend carried on practicing. You need a strong will to take off, advised the dragon. Close your eyes and think of the reason why you really want to fly. Little wizard imagined having fun flying with the other wizards. But still, nothing was happening. The dragon went home to bake some bread. Little wizard was still practicing when he met a knight. Out of my way! said the knight. I am going on a dragon hunt. But the dragon in this forest is very friendly, said Little Wizard, and he only eats bread. Dragons don't eat bread, laughed the knight, and he set off towards the dragon's house. Oh, I must warn the dragon, said Little Wizard, but how can I get there before the knight? He climbed onto his broomstick and held tight. If only I could fly. Little wizard closed his eyes. I've got to fly, I've got to fly, I've got to fly to save my friend. He felt a tingle in his feet and when he opened his eyes, little wizard was flying. In no time, he reached the dragon's house, his friend greeted him with a cheer. Well done, little wizard! Now we can fly together! Yes, replied little wizard, and we must go now! And he told the dragon about the night. So together, they flew out of the forest and over the fields. They flew and they flew until they grew tired. But the, by the time they got home, the knight had given up the hunt and left the forest. The dragon was safe. That, that evening, little wizard and the dragon flew up to the treetops and ate their dinner under the stars. The two friends talked about all the fun they would have flying together. How nice to be able to fly, thought little wizard, and to have a friend. We hope you liked today's story time. Keep well and see you soon again. Goodbye.